What is up YouTube? My name is Bunny and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 with a brand new video. Hello fans, hello schoolmates, and there's a few people from my school watching me now, pretty cool. But we are joined by a few fans, 23, Drag Knight, Wolfie, Fish Reel, and Woody. And I do a shout out to my four channel members, they clicked the blue button below the video. So huge shout out to Cooper Hilton, PD underscore AB, Norgo Trump, and Matthew1164, who is sadly not in today's video. Also feel free to subscribe to today's channel, not today's channel, to this channel. But without further ado let's go on to see what we are going to be doing in today's video what i want to do is we're going to make ourselves a pretty advanced door and this is not any normal door that i've ever done on this channel we're going to be using some fancy schmancy gates so i did do a video on these gates a while back but before i do begin we're going to be going over everything we are going to be using in this build in case you're interested in re um, replicating it on your very own base for starters we are going to be using i don't know how many but for right now i have three wood detectors four hatches for the doorway and then we have uh, some two and gates and then a bunch of wires uh, just scattered about I'm not sure how many yet but we're gonna start off by placing these up here we made a little or I made a little room up here so that I can uh, fit lasers down here and basically it's a key card door you'll need three different types of wood to open up the door so this is top secret VIP access to the door um, to open it because you actually need three types of wood, which is actually very complex. So the first laser, right down, oh wait, we have to put wood in that, wood, wood inside of it, and then it will be activated. But we're going to place it like that. Let's grab another one. We're going to place this, excuse me, we're going to place this right here. And then we're going to place one more right smack dab in the middle, right about here. And then we'll get the wood later. But what I want to do now is we're going to use some hatches to make ourselves the door. And I, I um, specifically left a bunch of space out. So, wait, actually, how do we want... We'll open it like this, so that way when it's active... Oh, whoops, hold on, hold up. When it's oh, um, opened, it will open like that instead of um, outward towards the person. Secondly, we'll place one on the opposite side right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, everyone. Hold up. I, we have to move this up one more stud like that. There we go. That's how I intended it to be. And we'll place this right there. And then I will be explaining everything going on behind the scenes, what makes this work and that sort of thing in a moment. But right now we're going to place that there. Make sure it's all lined up. And there we go. We have our door. So we're going to be um, hooking up wires to all four of these little notches. And then we'll be doing a bit of logic behind here that will determine when the door should be properly open. Or yeah, properly open. So for starters, we're going to grab ourselves an AND gate. And we're going to place this all the way in the back right here. Uh, rotate it. And we're going to rotate it so that the two nubs are facing towards the detectors. And we're going to place this. Uh, we can do this on the wall actually. I think this wouldn't be too bad. We're gonna place this right there, and then I think this is how it should go. We're gonna place this right here. So let's grab this, press move, walk around to the back, and then we're gonna place this right here. Uh, we can't pre uh, place it directly so the nubs are um, colliding, but we're actually going to go ahead and place it like this. So that way we're gonna hook up a wire that goes from here, and then we're gonna, um, Okay, well, I'll show you later, but we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a um, basic wire. We're going to hook it up from this one to this one. There we go. That's the first one. And then we're going to grab another wire and we're going to hook up that, uh, those two little wood detectors. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I did that incorrectly. Do not do that. I'm liking a bit too. But ignore that. Ignore that wire up there. We're going to go ahead and grab this one. We're going to use this slide it down the side like so boy no not like that slide it down here and then we're going to connect it right onto this one and then instead of connecting these two together that literally does nothing we're going to connect this across like this you don't you don't want them to uh, collide or else it will um output the wrong thing we're gonna oh boy come on because i'm pressing e and then like a second later it will actually place it so that's why it's a bit out of the um it's not in the correct place and then we're gonna go ahead and grab one more wire. We're gonna need to we're gonna need at least four more, I'd say, maybe five for this build. I might have to resort to some neon wires, I think so. Do I have any regular ones? I used a bunch of them for my window frames, so that's why I'm a bit low. We're gonna go ahead and use some neon wires. Yay, so we'll start with cyan. That can go uh, behind there. I mean, it's not too bad we're using neon wires. This can go over here. 
and we're gonna use this wire to we're, we're gonna get a, the simple step we're gonna connect this wire up here there we go like that and then I'll, I'll explain what that does in a moment we're gonna go ahead and grab one more wire uh, it doesn't matter the color I mean white would be pr uh, prefer preferable but uh, let's just see what we have to work with we're gonna walk back here uh, we're gonna walk to the back and then we're gonna go ahead and place this um, right here we're gonna use this place it right here go across like that like that well actually no, I'm just gonna do it like this there we go like this up above like that and then down like so basically let's go ahead and go um, over this what we have here once we have the wood so if we put the correct wood in here it will detect it and then it will send a signal to this and um, gate but the, the way the AND gate works is it needs both signals to transmit another signal. So if I were to put another one in here, this would be activated, this wire here and this wire, it transfer here and activate this box, which would um, activate the signal here, but it would not go all the way through because it's missing the signal from this box. So if we put the correct wood in for this box, it will transmit through this wire into this box, and then these two signals will be able to output another signal at the bottom right here, which will, op will actually will um, activate a signal sustain, which will... Actually, no, we'll do, we'll do something else for that, uh, which will um, then open the doors. So we're going to go ahead and we'll need some wires. We're going to work on connecting the doors right now. Pretty simple and straightforward this step. I'm going to go ahead and use, we'll do red. I mean, that's a pretty cool color. We'll go ahead and connect the top two hatches and the bottom two hatches together with these wires. And then we will connect all four or all two of these wires together, which will um, just be what the door is activated by if that makes sense. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Bunny and I create contents in Minecraft. Oh, I dang it. I shouldn't say that because I'm, I'm releasing a new series. I'm not sure if it's going to be released by now, but most likely it will be because I just revealed what it is. But we're going to go ahead, hook these up, press finish like so. And once we have the two wires connected on top like that, we're going to go ahead. I do wish I had some regular wires. I thought I got some, but I think I ran out. I am using so many wires for the space. As you can see, I have railings made out of wires. But, I mean, we'll, we'll, we're fine with the neon wires. Let's see, what color is the cyan and yellow? We're going to go with another uh, cyan. We're going to move this. And right now, I'm not going to be uh, bother covering up all the wires. You can do that in your own time by doing a little glitch that will allow... Uh, yeah, you can do a little glitch. But we're going to go ahead, place this like so, like that. And then we're going to run it to the back right here. Let's see, can it go all the way around? That would be amazing if it actually could. Might have to go up like this or down maybe. Yeah, down would be better. There we go. And we're going to place, actually, no. No, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking because uh, cancel that. We're going to go ahead and just place this on the ground right now. But we're going to go ahead and fill in the wood really quickly we're going to use just whatever wood i have on my base so it's not going to be anything fancy and i'm not even sure what's going to be back here probably just a secret stash or something maybe uh candy bars because i've always dreamed of having a secret stash of candy but it just disappears over time especially in my studio but we're going to go ahead chop off a little bit of walnut wood but you need to make sure that the piece of wood is actually the correct size it needs to be smaller than i believe 1.2 studs actually no maybe smaller than one stud so it fits so yeah this is too big we're going to go ahead pop it into the sawmill and then we're going to use make it um we'll do how about 0 0.8 by 0 0.8 there we go so we're gonna pop this in here and while that sawmills we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves two more types of wood we can go ahead and go with oh here we go end times wood that's fancy let's go ahead and chop oh shoot i think we need uh need an end times axe for that we'll get some birch wood i'm gonna see if i have an end times axe and then we'll go ahead and use that let's go ahead and pop that in there like so oh gosh don't put me in the sled right now so uh, we can do elm wood i mean as nice as um uh, as uh, end times wood would be I just don't have an axe at hand right now to chop it up downstairs I probably do but I'm not gonna bother with it let's go ahead and we're gonna grab this wood we're gonna bring it over here and actually what I am going to do I'm gonna chop this in half that way I have a little key card for me and then we're gonna pop this inside like so there we go activated the first signal I'm actually gonna pump this right down here right in front of it just so I know which one's which we're gonna head back up top we're gonna grab the two more pieces of wood drop them down chop them up and then we will um, test it out 
So, I mean, right now, at the current state of it, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to um, hopefully output the correct signal that we want, and then, or it will output a signal after we uh, insert the three correct wood pieces. But other than that, it will not do anything. We're going to go ahead and chop this in half, and then we're going to hop down here, uh, place it inside like so, maybe, maybe. It's a bit difficult. There we go. Didn't hear it activate, though. There we go. You have to have, you have to wait to hear that little click, and then we'll drop this down here. We'll have to get that later. <laughs> and let's chop this up. Drop it down there. And pop this inside of there. Like that. Come on. And we heard the little click. So let's walk all the way around back to the front of it. And let's go ahead and test this contraption out. So the middle piece of wood is walnut wood. Place that there, and you'll hear a little ding if it's actually the correct wood. Wait, hold on. So, so if it's the incorrect wood, you'll hear a little a monotone click, or it's just a lower toned or lower pitch. There we go. Lower pitch is the word. But if we put the correct wood in there, it will detect it. And then finally, this one right here. There we go. So it lights up nice and bright. The door is not going to open because we have not gotten to that part yet. But as you can see, the signal is being outputted from the little nub. But if we actually were to remove one of these pieces of wood, for example, the birch, get rid of that. Uh, it will cancel this signal, it'll cancel this one, and then the gate will not work because it needs this second signal. But you need to make sure if you are doing this, you need an AND gate, which is purchased from Link's Logic. So I'm going to go ahead, place that down there, and... I want to figure out how we're going to do this. So the signal is going to go to the door, open it, I think. Uh, it, sig yeah, we need a signal delay. That's what we need. Okay. So we'll use the signal delay. We're going to go ahead and grab one of those. I do have one on hand. I'm not sure which one it is, though. Let's go ahead and open this up. Signal sustain. Okay, we got a signal delay right here. Let's just open it and confirm. There we go. Signal delay. So you'll need one of those two. I did not state that earlier in the video, and I apologize for that. I just didn't really... Um, this is going to automatically close the door rather than having to, it um, need to be manually closed by button. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place this. Uh, we'll do it like this right here. Actually, we'll place, this on, place it on the side like so. Um... Excuse me. There we go. We'll place that there. And then we're going to increase the delay all the way to the maximum value. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to hook up both of these wires together. So we're going to go up here, connect that up there, down here. Uh, we'll go a bit more in like that. There we go. Because I do plan on placing a wall here later on. We're going to place this here. Actually, no, we're gonna be a bit more nicely or orderly with these wires and then we're gonna connect it down here Hopefully that does connect and then we need to get a few more wires to connect these all together Now let's go ahead and go on a little little wire hunt. We have a neon wire over here We can use I mean this is going to be very colorful when it's activated because we're gonna use a blue neon wire Apparently and then on top of that we're going to use about a, like if we're gonna use a violet one Maybe I don't know. We'll see what we have maybe a yellow one <laughs> Okay so now what we're going to do is we need to hook this up to here, like so, and then, um, actually, no, 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 cancel that. What we're going to do is we're going to hook this up here, like that. Hopefully that does activate. We're going to run this down here, then right here. Wait, actually, um, no, 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 no. Hold on, everyone. This is what I think will work. We're going to go ahead and place this on the ground right here. Like so. There we go. And what I hope, th I hope this does work. We're going to go ahead and hook this up here because I have not tested this out actually. So we might have to do a bit of trial and error testing. But we're going to go ahead and run this through here. Connect it. Oh, is that not close enough? We'll go ahead and minimize some area taken up. There we go. Connect that up there. So when this is activated, it will delay and then it will close it. But we do have to do the activation part where it does open it. But what this should do is we're going to hook this up here. This should run down here. Here. Actually, we'll do a bit nicer. And right here. There we go. And that will activate that. And then one more wire. And then this actually might work. Oh. That's fine. I think that's fine. I hope that's fine. Okay. Uh, that should be fine for now. Well, if that's not, we'll go ahead and adjust that later. But we'll go ahead and grab ourselves. We'll do uh, violet right now. 
And we, um, I do apologize. I'm not giving um, anyone any attention in the chat. I'm just, I don't really read it when I'm busy and talking or commentating my videos. So sorry about that. But now what we're going to do is like this, this, and no, apparently not. Okay. Hold on. We'll go up here like that. There we go. There we go. So actually, uh, this is not going to work. Uh, let's see. No. That is not going to work. So what I, what I originally planned was... It's not even opening the doors. I don't, yeah, I don't think that wire is properly connected up to them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try, test it out if we put it there. Run this all the way through again. Actually, go ahead and try to minimize... The length of this just because it is quite limited we might actually need, need another gate here we go so they're all open right now but the problem is that i did not foresee was that when once this is activated it will stay activated as long as these pieces are here but if we take the piece out theoretically it will close it so the signal oh no now it's stuck in a loop okay um yeah, we're stuck in a loop right now just because this is powered on from this wire, which is actually powered on here. So it's just a big loop right now. We're going to go ahead and remove this. And then what it should do is the wire should deactivate right now. Maybe once the delay runs through. There we go. And the door closes. What I think we'll need is actually we'll need ourselves a gate. I'm not sure which one. I'm pretty new to gates. Um... We'll get ourselves an ore gate. Maybe this will work. Who knows? Oh, this is actually a pretty advanced technical build for me. I, I mean, I'm not any professional. I'm, I'm not a professional electrician, but I'm doing some sort of thing. Possibly, maybe. That works. Let's rotate this. We'll tilt it downward like so. And... Huh. Let's... Actually, no. It's not going to do anything. Um... The problem is we need to somehow, um, huh, how should we do that? Mm, huh, I, I'm confused. Somehow I need to separate this so it opens. I mean, it, it's pretty uh, simple for some other people, but for a novice like me, it's actually quite difficult. Okay, here's what we'll do. Wait, actually, no, it's not going to work. Excuse me, I'm going to relocate the scoob really quickly. There we go. Um, huh. Well, this might actually need to be, uh, be manually closed. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a professional at this, sadly. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but what I'm doing works on occasion. But if we put the piece of wood in there, it opens. If we take the piece of wood out... Oh, wait. That works. Oh, like that. So, <laughs> I think we're fine with that. I mean, yeah, I'm fine with that. So, uh, let's say, you have, I mean, this is pretty advanced. Like, this is as if you're trying to launch a nuke. You need three nuclear key codes, and you'll try to figure it out. Does this work? No, it's incorrect. Does this work? There we go. That light turns on. We'll put this in the middle. There we go. And we'll put this in here. Boom, the nukes are launched, like North Korea. No, just kidding. <laughs> we'll go ahead and, uh, oh gosh, I can't even touch the scoop head. Oh, I can't touch anything. I'm lagging. Oh, please say I did not lose connection. Okay, there we go. We're back. Let's get rid of these scoops. They're just slightly in the way. And then if you want to close the door, just take one of your key cards and walk out. There we go. It closes. Sometimes it will take a while to close just because of lag. But, I mean, I, I like this build. It's pretty fun. You get three little lasers to activate a door. Um, thumbnail, maybe. There we go. Print screen. But, oh, oh boy, this lag. This lag is just getting me. I mean, it took forever for that door to activate. There we go. We're actually going to go ahead and shine a light here. And that is basically it for the build. So we do not need a signal delay. And we do not need a uh, another gate or this extra wire right here. But, I mean, uh, this is a pretty cool build. I like it. If you want to see any, any, any other technical builds, let me know in the comment section. I always read my comments. But I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do hit that like button and also consider subscribing. I make daily content every day, and this might actually be my third video streak, maybe. Third day of uploading daily.
but who knows? Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.